From midday, tens of thousands of supporters of Claudia Sheinbaum began arriving at the Zócalo, Mexico City's emblematic plaza. Sheinbaum is the former mayor of Mexico City, who, according to polls, is set to become the first female president of the world's largest Spanish-speaking country. Me comprometo. I vow to give my soul, my life, and the best of me to the well-being and dignity of the people. And I commit myself to guaranteeing the legacy of President López Obrador. Sheinbaum's approval rating is mostly attributed to the overwhelming support she enjoys from current President Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Viva el Presidente López Obrador! His social programs and charisma have made him very popular, and 61-year-old Sheinbaum underscores she will follow his every footstep. With the government support, there have been pensions for the old. For example, my grandmother, who can now survive on a pension. We want her to maintain that support and increase it. Indeed, Sheinbaum's biggest asset can also be seen as her biggest shortcoming, because she never seems to deviate from the president's discourse, and at times she even seems to imitate him. Many are asking themselves, who is the real Claudia Sheinbaum? And if she's elected, will she find her own voice? At the far northern border of Mexico, Sheinbaum's main opponent, Xochitl Galvez, warned that if the candidate of continuity wins, Mexico's democratic institutions, such as the independence of the judiciary, will be in danger. In fact, the only thing the leading candidates have in common is their gender. Are you ready to vote and defend life, liberty and the truth? We will win to share, not to steal, to serve, not to serve ourselves, not to humiliate, and especially to unite the country. The center-right candidate is seen as a symbol of a person from very humble roots, who came up in the world of business. Galvez is also proud of her indigenous roots, but she is lagging behind in the polls. Whoever wins will be sure to make history, if nothing else, because she will be the first woman president in a country known for its male chauvinism. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.